Hello, welcome to Art Bites from the Marianne Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Kim Richards, and today I'd like to share with you this watercolor by the artist Joan Foth, entitled Rain. Joan was born in Elmira, New York in 1930, and um, she knew she wanted to be a landscape artist as a young girl, and she was already volunteering to paint murals in the second grade for school projects. And when her family moved to New York City, she was able to attend the High School of Arts and Music, and then earned a scholarship to the Art Students League. Um, she also attended and um, earned her degree from Barnard College. She had a Bachelor's of Arts in um, Art History and Oriental Studies. And right out of school, she began working for the Metropolitan Museum of Art as a lecturer. Foth also met and married her husband in New York City. And in 1954, they decided to move back to his hometown, which is Topeka, Kansas. While in New York, both had been uh, painting landscapes and her landscapes there though, the view there were these brownstones and skyscrapers, something very vertical, something very compact and organized. And so when she moved to Kansas, she found herself in a much different environment. She started working as an assistant director for um, the Kansas Museum um, of History. And then she also, um, worked with the um, Mulvane Art Museum on Washburn's campus, their art board and their art fair, found herself starting a 25 year teaching career at Washburn University and their art department. So she had really kind of landed in a great spot for lecturing and teaching, but what she was struggling with was her own personal art. Um, as I said earlier, she found herself in these wide open plains and didn't quite know what to do with these vast spaces. She kept trying to organize them in small ways, like maybe just painting a lilac bush in her front yard or um, maybe just painting a grouping of trees. Um, didn't really know what to do with that. Since she was uh, teaching a life drawing class, she decided that maybe she'd spend more time on portraits, painting her children, um, painting other um, persons, even doing some some of her training in New York had been in abstract work, so she'd been um, experimenting with some abstract collage that was a bit more figurative, but nothing was really resonating with her until she tells the story in 1970, and um, she was um, chosen as the first Kansas artist in residence for the um, National Endowment of the Arts um, Artist in Residency Program. And she was tasked with driving to three different rural communities, um, introducing the arts to them, developing curriculum, um, starting workshops, doing um, art activities with the communities. And on her drive out to southwestern Kansas, she looked out her windshield and saw this vast open landscape, this low horizon line, these massive skies, and she finally found it very liberating. She thought, what am I trying to do, trying to capture these um, spaces in these small organized canvases? I need to branch out, I need to spread things out. And she began to focus on the layers um, of the land and the sky and um, the color that um, she saw there. So in the 70s, she was working on these bands of layers and um, you can see in the rain that uh, some of the bands are very rigid and they're uh, very exact and horizontal and kind of contained in a line. As you look at snow a couple years later, she's starting to get a little looser with those lines. Um, some of the lines at the bottom and the top are a little wavier, but there's still these layers of color and land and sky. The other thing that she wanted to do was make her paintings whiter. She um, was restricted by the size of watercolor paper, but when she find, and so she worked with in diptychs and triptychs, as you see um, at the bottom on the bottom painting. But when she finally was able to resource wider, bigger paper, then her paintings got to be between five and six feet wide. 
by the 1980s, um, she had re- mid 80s, she'd retired from teaching and permanently moved to New Mexico, where now her landscape uh, view is different. Again, she's now looking at mountains and mesas, um, and she's changed her um, painting style as well, um, getting a little bit more representational. Let's take a look, a longer look at rain. Uh, I want you to um, kind of take in it, give your eye a minute to just roam around the piece and take in the different bands of color and the other shapes that you might see. And then ask yourself a couple of questions. The first is, do you think her bands are effective in creating this um, representation of a Kansas landscape and um, capturing nature in an abstract way? And do you think that the bands successfully represent the different layers that a person might experience when when looking at a wide open um, plains landscape? And then thirdly, ask yourself, do you notice other shapes in this painting? And do you think that they successfully um, work with the bands of color in giving a more complete um, composition of what a landscape in the wide open spaces might look like. Thanks for joining us for Art Bites today. And um, I hope you enjoyed looking at Rain, a watercolor by Joan Foth.